Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Finn in his First Order Officer uh, disguise. Uh, this is a really cool figure, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. So here it is. Um, it's a little damaged because I got it from the uh, Amazon warehouse um, section of Amazon, so basically I got this for cheaper because the box was all smashed. Um, but you can see there's an image of Finn down here in the corner and then a nice big window on the front to see the figure. And then on the back, there's a number, another image of Finn and then a brief description. If you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just uh, pause the video. Uh, so anyway, pretty standard packaging. So let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself. So Finn, when he focuses, stands at about five and three quarter inches tall without his hat. And then with his hat, let's see how tall he is. Put it on there. Uh, he is uh, just a little bit taller, pretty much the same height. Um, so he's going to be right in scale with all of your other uh, Black Series figures. Um, and he does come with three accessories. The first one I've already shown you is his hat. It does uh, fit on his head really, uh, you know, very nicely. It's not going to fall off when you handle the figure. And it's got very, very fine detail on there. It's kind of, my camera's having trouble focusing on the emblem there on his hat. Uh, but it looks very nice. And I like how they've used the glossy here and the uh, satin here. Really sets the hat off. So I like that accessory. And the next one is this blaster pistol here. It's the same one that we've seen before, just with a different deco. Um, I wish there was a little bit more paint on there uh, to kind of highlight the detail, but it's not the worst. And to be honest, it's probably gonna sit in the holster uh, most of the time. His final accessory um, is this um, riot uh, baton. And this is uh, different to the one that we've seen before because it is articulated. So it folds into the, you know, the closed position and into the open position. And it's nicely detailed. Um, one complaint that I do have is that the uh, little pieces out here aren't as secure in the attack position as I would like them to be. Um, but that's just a minor complaint because, you know, it's a pretty cool um, accessory uh, overall. As far as the figure itself goes, uh, Finn has a ball peg in the head with a hinge in the neck, which gives him a really nice range of motion. He has ball hinge shoulders that do swivel 360. Hinged elbows with a swivel, and they get a nice range of motion there, more than 90 degrees, which is nice. Um, he's got hinged wrists with a swivel, and I believe the hinge, the hinge runs horizontally through the hand on this side, and does it run horizontally on this side as well. He's got a single ball peg here in the torso with an excellent range of motion. T-jointed hips with a you know decent range. Um, out to the side and pretty good forward. There is a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and a hinged ankle with an ankle rocker. So overall, I think that they did an excellent job uh, with this figure. As far as this outfit for Finn, I don't think that it's the most important, um, but it does um, kind of have an advantage in that, you know, this can be Finn as well as a background uh, first order officer, you know, you just pull the hat down a little further um, and then you've got kind of some just background characters uh, for, you know, if you've got a diorama or whatever. So definitely a figure that I recommend. Um, and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section. And I guess I'll uh, see you later.